Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brickyard 400. Last year we raced here at Indianapolis, but it was at the road course. So after some criticism from the racers and the NASCAR Cup Series races from 2021 to 2023, the Brickyard 400 has been resurrected, and today we're about to make history at the Brickyard. Before we get to the race, here's a look at the playoff standings. After last week, so recently Cal Letters has filled up the entire playoff line, so if anybody in the cutoff line wins today, they will be stuck in the cutoff line unless they dethrone someone else in the playoffs. With that out of the way, let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Brandon Power Car in his first pole award after a miserable race at Pocono after failing post-race inspection. And starting in second is Cruz Ramirez in a must-win situation before the regular season. Isn't going to last long, so she must win more than one race. In row two, Phil Tankson and Daniel Suarez. In row three, Colin Bargain and Bubba Wheelhouse. In row four, last week's winner, Cal Weathers and his teammate, Lightning McQueen. In row five, H.J. Hollis, who has also failed post-race inspection last week at Pocono and J.D. McPillar. In row 6, Jackson Storm and Steve LePage. In row 7, Bobby Swift and Chase Racelot. In row 8, Ryan Laney and last year's winner at the Indy Road Course, Brian Spark. In row 9, Conrad Camber trying to get his second crown jewel win and Master Dragon 4000 released from a one week suspension after wrecking Brandon Power Car at Chicago. And starting in row 10 are JP Drive and Jimmy Cables. Here's the race format, 8 laps, 20 miles around the 2.5 rectangle shaped track and pit road speed is 55 miles per hour. The pace car makes a hard left turn to the pits, meanwhile thousands of fans from thousands of states and countries welcomes the Piston Cup back to the Indianapolis Oval. Meanwhile, 20 cars get ready, and Brandon Power Car leads the Brickyard 400 to the green flag. Here they come uh, out of turn two and into the back straightaway with that back stretch bump. Now into turn three, Brandon Power Car already with the great start in the lead against Cruz Ramirez. Last week he failed post race inspection and you gotta make sure you make some authentic checks on this car or authentic setups. Ramirez is already challenging the number 7 of Brandon Power Car. Into the front straight away and Brandon Power Car is going to lead lap 1. Side by side for the lead. Cruz Ramirez takes the way. Nope, it's Brandon Power Car. This track is strange when it comes to placing safer barriers because only in the turns 1 through 4 you see safer barriers. Meanwhile, the straightaways is just straight out concrete walls. Cruz Ramirez has taken the lead against Brandon Power Car, as you've as you seen earlier while I was talking about the safer barrier problem with Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Well, technically it's not a problem, it's just Indianapolis just refusing to put safer barriers on the straightaways because they might think that a horrific wreck might happen on the front stretch. Cruz Ramirez leads lap 2, already we're in lap 3, and Cruz is trying to dominate this race, and also trying to win a few races before she advances to the playoffs. Cruz Ramirez has been desperate all year. Here's a look at last week's winner, Cal Weathers against Lightning McQueen and Colin Bargain. Cruz Ramirez is desperate because she needs to win before the playoffs start.
Brandon Howard Carter is still challenging the number 51, but you don't want to challenge Cruz Ramirez because she's going to leave you a nasty mark on your side. Here comes Cruz Ramirez and Brandon Power Car zooming through the front straightway along with the other cars. Five laps to go here at Indianapolis Murder Speedway. Now get ready for the halfway jam. Alright, that is your halfway jam. Four laps to go here at Indianapolis Mersby Way for the Brickyard 400. Cruz Ramirez still in the lead against the number 7 of Brandon Power Car. Bubba Wheelhouse trying to catch up to the number 7 and 51. Brandon Power Car slides to the wall, but he has not rushed it yet. Right, here we go through the front straightaway for the fifth time already today. Three laps to go here at Indianapolis Murder Speedway. Cruz Ramirez still holding up the number seven of Brandon Power Car. Bubba Wheelhouse is a few feet away from reaching number 51 of Cruz Ramirez. Now he's drafting with the number seven. Now with the 51, side by side for second place. Brandon Power Car versus Bubba Wheelhouse. Now to turn two, there's that bump. Battle for first place, Cruiser Mirrors and Bubba Wheelhouse. Bubba Wheelhouse is trying to win his first crown jewel race. Meanwhile, Brandon Powercar is trying to catch his first career win. But always, every time he is uh, dominant, he has to soil the race. Two laps to go here at Indianapolis Murder Speedway. Almost three miles left in the Brickyard 400. Cruz Ramirez trying to get her first win at 2024. Meanwhile, Bubba Wheelhouse again trying to get his first crown jewel race win. Cruz Ramirez has been dominant all day. I feel like she has been prepared for the Brickyard 400, trying to make a comeback. After soiling a few races at Atlanta, Chicago, yeah, so there's a bunch of races she soiled. Here to come, here's a train through the top three. The white flag is out, the next flag will end the race. 2.5 miles left. Cruz Ramirez in the lead. Cruz Ramirez has been dominant all day. Meanwhile, Bubble Wheelhouse and Brandon Power Car didn't have the faster equipment all day. Cruz Ramirez has been injured at North Wilkesboro Speedway back in May. She's been trying to recover. So she will to get back to where she was before North Wilkesboro. Now exiting turn three and entering turn four. The next day, people will be talking about Cruz Ramirez has finally won at Indianapolis. And yes, those words will be true because Cruz Ramirez takes the checker flag and wins the Brickyard 400.
Congratulations to Cruz Ramirez for winning the Brickyard 400 and her first win of 2024. It was a shame that Brandon Power Card couldn't even reach number 51, neither the six. Here are the official results. Brandon Power Car is the fastest car of the day. Next week, we're having a two-week break due to the Olympics. So the next race is on August 9th at 4 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. Eastern at Rockingham Speedway for the Toe Cap 400. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Canica Her 27, signing out.